Good afternoon, Southwest Florida, and happy Halloween. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by our friends at Fusilokia of Cape Coral. This afternoon, we'll tell you about local festivities for this evening, look back on the origins of Halloween, and more. Today is Tuesday, October 31st, and this is the lunch break. Still not sure what to do tonight? We've got a few suggestions to get you in the spirit. Halloween Spooktacular is a family-friendly festival on 5th Avenue South in downtown Naples with trick-or-treating, music, games, and costume contests for both children and pets. The 7th annual event will also be screening kid-friendly Halloween movies this evening. Or if you're looking to get your adrenaline running, Mike Greenwell's annual Haunted Hike will be scaring visitors with their new character, The Collector. The event runs from 7.30 to 11 tonight. Or Miramar Outlets will also be holding its Malloween, featuring music, karaoke, trick-or-treating, and costume contests. Also tonight, a private Cape Coral residence turns into a serious haunted house complete with pneumatic props, actors, monsters, chainsaws, smoke machines, and music. Entrance is free from dusk until 10 p.m., but a donation of canned food for the Harry Chapman Food Bank is requested. For nature lovers, the Calusa Nature Center is hosting its 33rd annual Haunted Walk tonight. Though participants beware, the event is said to be scary and is not recommended for children under 16. Buy your tickets ahead of time online for a discounted price. Finally, for those interested in sinister libations this evening, Millennial Brewing Company in downtown Fort Myers will be throwing a Halloween party with drink discounts for those who dare to dress up. Read more about tonight's festivities at NaplesHerald.com. The origins of Halloween include celebration, protection, and superstition. In the Naples Herald column, Life with Moxie, Julie traces the origins of the holiday we celebrate today. Halloween is believed to have originated with the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, when people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off roaming ghosts. The Celts, who lived 2,000 years ago, celebrated their new year on November 1st, and according to History.com, the day marked the end of summer, the harvest, and the beginning of the dark, cold winter a time of year that was often associated with human death. It was referred to as the darker half of the year. Celts believed that on the night before the new year, beginning at sunset, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred, and ghosts of the dead returned to the earth for offerings to ensure people and their livestock survived the winter. People would also leave their houses wearing masks so they would be perceived as fellow ghosts. Widespread observance of Halloween appeared relatively late in the U.S. as early settlers were typically Protestant. But by the late 1800s, Halloween had become a national observance here, characterized by games, divinities, parties, and especially the children's custom of going trick-or-treating dressed in masks and costumes. Read more of Life with Moxie's History of Halloween at NaplesHerald.com. We would love to see your costumes. Post your gruesome, goofy, or adorable costume pictures on Naples Herald's Facebook page. Also, please be safe tonight and watch out for all the little trick-or-treaters racing to get their sugar highs. And that was a lunch break for today. I'm Bree Walling. From all of us at Naples Herald, have a killer Halloween, and we hope we'll see you tomorrow. Ooh.